Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudish and I am your trainer for this Microsoft 365 certified Security Administrator Associate certification course. In this video, we're going to learn about Mobile Application Management or MAM. After this lesson, you would be able to describe mobile application considerations and how to use Configuration Manager to manage mobile applications and use Intune to manage mobile applications and use Configuration Manager and Intune to manage mobile applications and use Azure AD to manage mobile application as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Today, many companies are still using traditional Win32 bit applications, also called desktop apps on their Windows devices. In the past, desktop apps were the only supported app type on Windows devices. But today, on Windows 10 devices, you can also run Windows Store apps and Universal Windows Platform apps as well. Microsoft Store apps and Universal Windows apps, Microsoft Store apps and Universal Windows Platform apps are preferred on Windows 10 devices. Desktop apps are commonly managed by Configuration Manager, which can also be used for managing modern Microsoft Store apps. But the future of Windows apps is in the store and the vision of modern management is to manage Microsoft Store apps. Many vendors are already providing modern Microsoft Store apps and if you are still using desktop apps, you can use products like Desktop Bridge to convert desktop apps to modern Microsoft Store apps. You can use Mobile Application Management or it is known as MAM in Intune to manage and protect company data in Android and iOS app that includes support for MAM. For your company apps, you can enable MAM support by using either the Intune App Wrapping Tool or Intune App SDK. The App Wrapping Tool is used primarily for internal line of business application. It does not support app in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Let's look at what are the benefits of app protection policies. You can use Intune App Protection Policies to help protect your company's data. Because Intune app protection policies can be used independently of your MDM solution. You can use it to protect your company's data with or without enrolling devices to Intune. By implementing app level policies, you can restrict access to company resources and keep control over your company data. So what are the two important benefits of using app protection policies? The first one is protecting your company data at the app level. Since mobile app management does not require device management, you can protect company data at both managed and unmanaged devices. And management is centered on user identity, which revolves the requirement for device management. Second benefit is end user productivity. End user productivity is not impacted and the policies are not applied when using the app in a personal context. The policies are applied only in a work context thus giving you the ability to protect company data without touching personal data. And what are the supported platforms for app protection policies? App protection policies can be applied to mobile apps on iOS and Android devices that support MAM. They can also be applied to Windows Information Protection Aware apps on Windows 10 devices. If your iOS or Android does not support MDM, you can enable MAM support by using the Intune app wrapping tool. Intune app wrapping tool does not support apps in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. You can use it only with the existing line of business applications. So now let's understand apps without app protection policies. When apps are used without restrictions, company and personal data can be intermingled. Company data could end up in locations like personal storage or transferred to apps outside of your pure view, resulting in data loss. The arrows in the example diagram show unrestricted data movement between apps, which is corporate and personal, and to the storage locations. So how can you protect the data with the app protection policies? You can use app protection policies to prevent company data from saving into the local storage of the device and restrict data movement to other apps that are not protected by app protection policies. And these app protection policy settings include Preventing users from save as, restrict, cut, copy, paste, etc. And this will give admins ability to implement policies such as 
require simple pin for access or or block managed apps from running on jailbroken or rooted devices etc using configuration manager is the recommended tool for deploying and managing desktop apps and it can be used for deploying microsoft store apps as well it support many app deployment features such as app dependencies supersedence and deployment types this enables you to deploy different app types on different devices for the same user for example you could deploy a desktop app on a windows 8.1 device an app from microsoft store on a windows 10 device or a remote app program on a smartphone as well in configuration manager you can deploy apps by configuring applications or by using traditional method of configuring packages and programs both these methods allow you to deploy apps to client devices an application contain built-in intelligence such as ability to deploy different types of apps based on the properties of the client device however you might find that packages and programs are more efficient for using simple commands or running custom scripts on the client devices and how can you manage these mobile apps using configuration manager for that configuration manager must be connected to intune to be able to manage mobile apps you can manage mobile apps by using application management policies which enable you to modify the functionality of apps that you deploy to bring them in line with your company compliance and security policies for example you can restrict cut copy paste operations within a restricted app or configure an app to open all urls inside a managed browser application management policies can be used only with android and ios devices and you can manage mobile apps on windows 10 only by using intune to apply restrictions to an app the app must incorporate the microsoft intune app sdks there are two methods for obtaining this type of app first by using the policy managed app which is both available for android and ios these apps have the app sdk built in to add this type of app you, you specify a link to the app from the app store such as itunes stores or, or google play second method of obtaining this app is use a wrapped app which is again available for android and ios these apps are repackaged to include the app sdk by using the microsoft intune app wrapping tool this tool is typically used to process company apps that were created in house it cannot be used to process apps that were downloaded from the app store now let's understand how can you use microsoft intune you can use intune for managing the life cycle of traditional desktop apps as well as modern microsoft store apps the app life cycle begins when you add an app to intune deploy the app to users and devices and configure and update the app to a newer version and protect the app data by using app protection policies and retire the app when it is no longer needed you can assign and manage apps to Intune enrolled devices as well as devices that are not enrolled to Intune. Please note that if a device is not enrolled to Intune, you can only manage MAM aware apps, which is mobile application management aware apps, on that device based on user identity. You cannot manage the device itself. For example, you can prevent copying information between a business related app and a private app. However, you cannot manage the device by using MDM. Intune Mobile Application Management refers to a suite of Intune management features that lets you publish, push, configure, secure, monitor, and update mobile apps for your users. MAM protects company data within an application, and many productivity apps such as Microsoft Office apps are able to be managed by Intune MAM. Intune MAM supports two configurations. The first one is Intune MDM plus MAM. In this configuration, you can only manage apps using MAM and app protection policies on devices that are enrolled with Intune Mobile Device Management or MDM. The second configuration is MAM without device enrollment. MAM without device enrollment allows you to manage apps using MAM and app protection policies on devices not enrolled with Intune MDM. MAM without device enrollment, a work or school related app that contains sensitive data can be managed on almost any device, including personal devices in bring your own device scenarios. 
And this is an example screenshot which shows some of the apps that can be managed by Intune MAM. Now let us understand how can you use Azure AD to manage your application. Azure AD can provide identity and access control for your company. You can register an app with Azure AD either by selecting one of the available apps from the gallery or adding your custom application as well, which can run in your cloud or on premises. After that, you can provide access to the app by assigning it to user or group, regardless if group has static or dynamic membership. You can also use Azure AD for ongoing access management, usage evaluation and reporting. So what are the benefits of using Azure AD to manage these app? With Azure AD, you can get application authentication and authorization, user authentication and authorization, single sign-on using password synchronization, and user provisioning and synchronization as well. On top of it, you can use application publishing and proxy as well. With that, you can publish an application from a private network to the internet. All right, so that concludes the lesson on mobile application management. In the next video, we're going to learn about mobile device management or MDM. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.